Alright, now we are in the graphs of simple harmonic motion. Okay, so this is the first question. The graph of uh, displacement against time uh, for a particle with mass 10 gram. Okay, we have mass here. Okay, uh, something we should highlight first. Okay, we have mass here. Uh, in a simple harmonic motion, uh, is shown below. Okay, we have a displacement time graph. Okay, displacement time graph. What is the amplitude, the period, the omega, the angular frequency? Okay. So the question asks for amplitude. Okay, amplitude, the period, and the angular frequency is omega. Okay. So all right. So what information can we get from this displacement time graph? Right. Um. First of all. Uh, the displacement, maximum displacement is 0 0.2. Uh, this is the maximum displacement. So this maximum displacement is amplitude. Uh, this is the amplitude. And this one, this is how many wave? Okay, we have gone through, okay, uh, we, between crest and crest, uh, this is one period. So this is actually two period. Uh, so these are the things we can get. So and be careful with the unit. Uh, this unit is meter. This is second. So take note of the the unit. Yeah. Sometimes this can be this can be cm. Uh, then the amplitude is cm. Uh, this, sometimes this uh sec the unit can be millisecond. Then our period can be in millisecond. So these are the things we should uh, be careful. Okay. So we know. Okay. So from here we got the amplitude. Uh, the amplitude. So first of all, the amplitude is uh, 0 0.2 meter. The unit is meter. Okay. And then a period. Okay. Because this has two wave. From crest to crest, one period. Con another crest to another crest. And another period. So there are two period. Two wave. Uh, so two period. This is two period equal to 4 second. Uh, the unit is second. So we use second. So be careful with the unit. So we get a kind of period. Period is uh, 2 second divided by 2. Okay. Uh, so that's the answer. Now how about the angular frequency? Angular frequency is omega. So just use formula. We already have the period. So just use the period. Omega is 2 pi over period or 2 pi f. Uh, so we have period. We use the period. So uh 2 pi divided by period which is 2 second so the answer is the answer is pi radian per second uh pi radian per second or uh the answer is uh 3.14 radian per second okay uh, 3.14 radian per second okay um we got the omega now on the same axis, sketch graphs. Uh, you want graphs to show the variation with time. Um, okay, with uh, of the kinetic energy. Okay, actually, uh, there are some typo here. Uh, variation with uh, actually should uh, this is um, our syllabus should be with displace with display uh, displacement. Okay, there are some typo here. I'm sorry. Okay, what we should learn the graph is sketch graph to show variation with displacement okay the following energy kinetic energy potential energy and total energy okay so we need to show the graph between the energy with displacement uh, our syllabus is using displacement okay i'm sure there is graph with time but uh, that's not in our syllabus so we should learn the graphs or uh, between energy with displacement okay now um okay how to draw uh, this actually the the shape is like this uh okay so uh but but we need the label yeah okay uh the total energy is constant okay the total energy is always constant uh the potential energy is actually the smiling graph potential energy is zero at the equilibrium okay uh, this is the x this is the uh, displacement 
Okay, uh, this is the displacement. The x-axis is the displacement and the y-axis is the energy. Okay, displacement. So, uh, when displacement is zero, the potential energy is zero. Uh, okay, but potential energy, the 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 um, the elastic potential energy is maximum at the amplitude. Okay, uh, kinetic energy is uh, maximum at the equilibrium, but zero at amplitude. Okay, we need the labor. We need the labor. So the Okay, the maximum displacement is A. And this should be negative A. Uh, do we have the A amplitude? Yes, we have 0 0.2 meter. So here we put uh, 0 0.2 meter. Okay, the unit is meter. Okay, uh, this one should be negative 0 0.2 meter. All right, that's the displacement. And this, the maximum here, the maximum value here is uh, half m omega square a square. Uh, actually, half m omega square a square is the value of total energy. Uh, the total energy is always constant at half m omega square a square. Uh, uh, this is also, the total energy is also the equal to the u maximum and also equal to the a maximum. You see? When u is maximum, uh, this is the this is the place uh, where u maximum. You see that uh, u maximum at here, uh, u maximum at here, u maximum here. Uh, it is uh, equal to half m omega square a square. Uh, when u maximum, it is equal to half m omega square a square. Uh, when k maximum. When k maximum also equal to the total energy, which is half m omega square, a square. See? k maximum at here. Uh, see? The k maximum at, at this point. Uh, k maximum. Uh, k is 0 at uh, this point. k is 0. k is 0. Yeah? Uh, uh, the potential energy. Sorry, the potential energy is 0 at the equilibrium. Right? The k maximum is equal to the at the k is maximum at the equilibrium. So we need to find this uh, maximum value half m omega square a square. We need the value to labor here also. If not, we will lose mark of no labor. So what's the total energy? Okay, what's the total energy? So uh, half we have the mass. Do we have the mass? Yes, ten gram. Oh, ten gram. You need to change to kilogram. Okay. So the mass you need to change to kilogram. Uh, mass is uh, you need to change to SI unit. Uh, divide by thousand, so you have zero point zero one kilogram. Mm. Okay. So our mass is zero point zero one kilogram. Now what is our omega? Do we have omega? Yes, we have omega, which is pi or three point one four. Uh, so. Uh, it is uh, in SI unit per second, okay? So that is 3.14 square. Do we have amplitude? Do we have amplitude? Yes, our amplitude, uh, which is this one. Amplitude in SI unit, meter so Okay, not cm. Good. Uh, amplitude in meter. Uh, amplitude in meter. So, okay, amplitude 0 0.2. Just put there, 0 0.2 square. Okay, what's our answer? 1.97 exponent uh, negative 3 joule. Yes, that's our total energy. That's our total energy. Okay, so labor there. Labor there. So our total energy uh, there is uh, uh, labor there. Yeah? One, uh, 1.97 exponent uh, negative 3. Uh, negative 3. Okay, uh, so that's our uh, total energy at the maximum value. Okay, the total energy here. Uh, and then the, so you need to label. Uh, when you draw the graphs, remember, you must have the label with, you, label with the value, value at the maximum. Here also, label with the value. Uh, the unit also already has, uh, already put in the axis there, joule. Okay, joule, this one in meter. And um, 
Yeah. Uh, that's all. Alright. So, okay. So, hope you enjoy these videos. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye.